Throughout March, Eyewitness News is showcasing remarkable women from right here in NEPA. And Eyewitness News anchor Kelly Burns sits down with one of our four finalists from our Remarkable Women competition. It's been a struggle. It's been a journey. I will say that. And I, I don't usually dwell on it at all because I'm alive. It's been 11 years since Maria Heck was diagnosed with breast cancer, a diagnosis that changed her and her life purpose forever. When you have that kind of surgery, you know, you're obviously cut from here to here and you have drains as well. And the drains are implanted and stitched and you have two full drains. So everything's just so uncomfortable and it's and then there's the psychological aspect of it all. So that's why I, I couldn't stand it another minute. Maria had multiple surgeries and each time an uncomfortable ride home from the hospital. A seatbelt's harness rubs against the chest and a pillow given by the hospital didn't seem to help. And that's when she had an idea. You put your seatbelt in there, flap it there. And there you go. It's called the breast and chest bunny, and it makes the drive home from the hospital bearable. The foam cushion allows the seatbelt to rest in a much more comfortable way. I'm so excited to work because I know that I'm sending these out to people that really, really need them and they're going to wear them. The response from those who use it inspires her to keep making more. It really helped her after the surgery until she fully healed. Turning her situation into a solution for others. I get such great inspirational messages from women. It's amazing. With the help of her team and even some family members, they've made 40,000, some of which are donated. The positive response led her to start the Porta Pal for catheter and chemotherapy patients, which has a hole in the foam that kind of nestles your port while keeping the seatbelt off everything. More than a decade after her diagnosis, Maria continues to be an advocate for breast cancer awareness. Breast cancer does not have to be the end of your life. Her remarkable work pushes her to keep spirits high and why she was nominated by her friend Jen as one of the most remarkable women. It's kind of what probably what I was put on this earth to do is to help other people with breast cancer. I don't know. With this week's remarkable woman, Kelly Byrne, WBRE 28, WYOU 22, Eyewitness News.